Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we start off with our gold daily chart, and we can see the resistance of the 20 moving average that we've been talking about for a while. And then more importantly, we see the consolidation that we're staying in, you know, below 11680 and above uh, 1620. You can see the wick here and where we closed and open here. So 1620, that's where we wick down uh, today. So, um, you know, again, there's been no change in the market. There's been no catalyst to, to really break gold out of this range. And so, but we, what we can say is that we know that when when something like gold uh, compresses, if I had Bollinger bands on this, you would see these bands really starting to pinch. Uh, then we know we know we're going to get a good move out of this one way or the other. And again, we can see here on a one hour time frame the volume really accumulating, and then uh, we got a little breakout to the downside, but it came right right back up. So uh, 20 moving average still acting as resistance. We got a little increase in volume today. Uh, probably the buyers coming in trying to defend uh, 1620 but we'll see where we go from here as the market tries to get out of this range so with the euro dollar we can see we did make that run all the way to the 50 moving average perfect resistance and fell right off of that and put in a doji so the market's trying to decide you know where where it wants to go as it made this beautiful run up to the uh, 50 million average. Um, all on light volume though. That's important to note. But very nice um, you move. We seem to be sandwiched in between the 50 and the 20 moving average. Uh, we can see we love when our lines work, acted as support. When we finally broke through it, came back and tested again, it now became resistance. But we can see we are above our long term moving average and we are in the neutral zone here. Ever fractionally, the dollar is in control, but we can see that the euro is trending up and our dollar still is basically moving sideways with a blip every now and then up, but it comes right back to parity, blip up, came back to parity, ever so slightly the seller's in control, but we're in neutral, we put in a doji, so we'll have to see which way the market wants to break from here. Here we are looking at the daily chart for the pound dollar. You can see we didn't quite make it to the 50 moving average here, but the 20 moving average acted as support on this big doji day. But now we close ourselves back in this range of 1.53 up to 1.57. So again, we'll see what happens here. On a one hour time frame, we can see there's our long term moving average acting as support. We are in a neutral zone. And we got a little divergence here, just a little. Uh, as the dollar took control, which kind of got our price to move down, and so as the pound uh, switching back up, we got a little pullback here. Pound slight trend up, very slight trend up, and as we already said, the dollar sideways with some blips up, even a blip down here. Here, the buyers are in control, but ever so fractionally. So we'll see here whether or not the resistance of 1.57 holds up. Uh, but again, we never made it to our 50 moving average, so we'll see if we'll, we'll, we'll finally make that push. Finally, we'll look at the dollar franc. And here, our support of 0.8923 is holding up. We're sitting here for a couple of days, though. And again, sandwiched below the 20 moving average, uh, 
uh, above the 200 moving average. We have our uptrend line. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see where we resolve out of this. Um, another one in the neutral zone. Uh, we've got our, our resistance that we're watching here. Uh, ever so slightly, it looks like the dollar wants to be in control, even though the franc, like everything else, trending up with a little pullback here while the dollar is going sideways. And once again, we can see the buyers are in control. As we come to our watch list for today, we have our low volatility watch list, which is our water attire frame using Bolger Vans. For that, we are going to be watching the dollar yen. And also for our inside bar watch, watch list, we'll be watching the dollar yen also. So as we continue to talk about how to construct a, a, a trading plan, uh, we know that it requires you to understand your goals, where you want to go, your risk tolerance, kind of how bad you want to get there, the time you can devote to trading, as well as the investment vehicles. What are you going to trade? What time frame are you going to trade? And the reason I have the picture here about the easy path and the path of life is that all this documentation, all the time it takes to put together an effective trading plan takes work. And that's why so many people don't do it, and that's why so many people lose in the market. <laughs> It takes time to put this stuff together. It takes time to be a successful trader. It takes time to be consistent and to be able to replicate this day after day after day. And those people who want to take the easy path, mind as well just mail me your check so that I can uh, uh, put, put it to better use buying something for my kids. But those who are willing to take the path of life, the path of being a successful trader, will make it and will see the, the fruits of their labor uh, pan out over time. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free five-course video on high volume trading. It really helps you frame the market, lets you know these are the things that should be a part of any of your trading setups. We hope that that gives you a gauge to who we are as coaches, how we can help you one-on-one, -on -one, take you through the path of life, the, the path of becoming a successful trader. Cash rebates for your trades. Why not get paid to trade? It doesn't change the spreads or the conditions. Just rebates for your trading for Forex. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we have that too. Of course, you want to find the signal provider that matches who you are as a trader so that you can feel comfortable trading it yourself or have it automatically traded. Because in the end, it doesn't make a difference about the system or the indicator if you don't pull the trigger, or more importantly, if you don't put the time in to do the work so that you can develop a trader's mindset and have a path to success then you'll just fall down the path of the easy path, which is the easy path to being broke. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.